this is amazing. Now we have Langroff Cloud. Just see here, I'm going to ask, give me the latest AI news and click Summit. You can see automatically the interaction between the agents and the tool, and then it goes back to agent, and finally you get the response. Even in the right hand side, you can see all the details in clear format. The user initiation, then going to agent, then it's using Tivoli search tool, then it's searching the internet for relevant information and returning back the results. And finally, the main agent is summarizing all the data and giving the final output. We also have a clear monitoring dashboard as you can see here. You can deploy your own land graph and you'll have a dedicated endpoint. Using that endpoint, you are able to create an application like this, where when you ask what is the latest AI news, then it's going to use that tool, get relevant information as you can see here. It's calling the tool with the query, it's searching Tavili, and then you get the final response, the latest update about AI. By the end of this video, you will see how you can deploy your own land graph, create it as an application, and test your application in the cloud, and finally integrate that in your own application like this. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about land graph from Langchain. And now they've released a cloud version. Using that, you are able to monitor the performance of your agents visually. The whole Lang Graph application will be deployed as an API endpoints like this. Using that, you are able to create all the required agents, trigger all those agents, and get relevant results. I'm going to take you through step by step how you can create a Lang Graph application, how you can test that locally, deploy that in Lang Graph cloud, and finally integrate that in your own application. Same as the user interface I showed you. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First step is to create a Lang Graph application and we'll integrate all the AI agents inside this application. So this is the folder structure for your Lang Graph application. So you will have agent. That's where you create AI agents. Then you've got the requirements.txt file, langgraph.json and .env file. So you can see the tree structure. That is my folder structure with agent.py, langgraph.json, requirements.txt. So in the requirements.txt file, we got the langgraph, langchain anthropic, Tavili Python, langchain community, langgraph CLI. So we are going to integrate Sonnet 3.5 from anthropic and create our agents based on that. So we are going to install pip install hyphen requirements.txt to install all the packages mentioned. I will put all the information, all the code in the description below. Next, we need to create .env file. This is for testing locally. There you provide your Tavili API key, Anthropic API key, and Langchain API key. So Tavili API key is used for searching the internet. Anthropic is for using Cloud Sonnet, and Langchain is used when you integrate the deployed application into your own user interface. Now we have completed creating the requirements.txt file and the .env file. Next step is agent.py file. So inside agent.py file from Langchain Anthropic, import chat Anthropic. Next, Tavili search results, create a React agent from Langgraph. Next, we are defining the Cloud 3.5 Sonnet model, initiating the chat Anthropic. Next, define the tool, that is Tavili search tool, to get two results. Next, defining the graph, that is create React agent, model name and the tools. So our application is very simple just for us to test. So this consists of only one agent. So this agent is using Cloud 3.5 model and it's using a tool called Tavili search tool. So anything you ask in regards to searching the internet, this is able to return the results based on the returned results from Tavili. So if you don't know, Tavili is a search engine specifically for integrating it in AI application. And now agent.py file completed. So the final pending file to create is langgraph.json file. That's where we store our configuration. So here is the file content. It's very simple. Just mentioning the dependencies, that is the requirements.txt file. It will install all of that, then graphs. So we are mentioning agent, that's one agent. It's inside agent.py file, and the name of the agent is graph. So you can see graph is the name of the agent. Next, the environment file is .env. So that's just the configuration 
for Langgraf. Now we have completed creating all these files. Now we need to test it locally. That is the second step. So Langgraf CLI is the main package to test it locally. We have already installed that, so it should be fine. So coming to our terminal, Langgraf space test and then click enter. Now it's building the image and it's all ready. You can see it's running in this URL. Now I'm going to open this. After opening that URL, it says not found, which is fine. At least you can say that it is running. But how you can test this? Let's open a new terminal. Here, we are going to type curl and then this request. So we are just saying, give me latest AI news to the agent. That's it. And clicking enter. So now you can see it automatically going to use the Tevili search results, retrieving all the information about latest AI news. Then it will be passed to the next agent, that is the main agent, to finally give us the summarized result. So in this way, you are able to test if it's working or not. Step number three, deploy in Langgraf Cloud. So before doing that, we need to save this in GitHub repo. So the normal step, git init, just create a new repo from github.com. There you can provide the information and finally create a repository. Now we got the repository here. So just follow this information, git init, git add dot to add all the files, git commit, git branch, git remote add, and git push. And that will automatically push all the required files in your repo. Now go to smith.langchain.com. That is called Langsmith. There you got the deployments. Click on deployments and create new deployment. So after clicking create new deployment, you are able to see this page where you need to link your GitHub repo then select the repo. In my case, it's Langgraf Cloud. Then provide a name, the config file, and the branch name. Then you can choose the deployment, whether it's a, for development or production. And I'm choosing development. Then finally click Submit. Now you can see it automatically building the image. Once after it is built, you will see currently deployed with the URL. So you can open this URL, and here you can see the documentation. And if you want to test any of the endpoints, you can click test request. Then here is your endpoint. You can enter your Langchain API key and click send. So this is the URL which is used to integrate with your own application. You can also see various integration options here for Python, for PHP, for R, for Ruby and much more. Now we have successfully deployed Langgraf in the cloud. Also there is something called playground in the top. You can click that. In that way you can test the agent which you have just created. So I'm going to test this now add human, that is the question that I'm asking, give me latest AI news and click submit. And you can see it automatically using the tool, then it's going to the agent, sending all the information to the agent. Then the agent will automatically summarize all the received data and it will finally send that to the end. You can trace back all the requests came in. In this way, we have complete visibility. Now final step, how you can integrate that in your application. To do that, I'm going to use Chainlit to create the user interface, pip install Chainlit. And here is the code which I have integrated. So just getting all these API keys, then on message tag in Chainlit. So whenever someone submits a message, automatically it's sending a post request to this URL. It's same as we did for our curl command. Then you provide Langchain API key and same as the curl command here. Assistant is agent and the question from the user will go here. And finally, we are sending the result back using message.update. That's it. So this is the main calling area. Now I'm going to run this. Chainlit run ui.py and then click enter. And here is the user interface. Now I'm going to ask question. Give me the latest AI news. Now you can see it automatically gave me the run ID. Give me latest AI news. That is using Tavili search results. And finally, based on that, I'm getting a response from the model with the latest news about AI using Tavili search. You can also monitor the same thing every single step in Langsmith, as you can see here. It first used the agent, then used the Tavili search results tool, then the result is sent back to agent, and finally we get the result. And it's using Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Even we can see the query sent to Claude 3.5 with all the information and the output. So in this way, we have detailed visibility. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.